Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this last day of the Rosary Month, we thank the Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, our Blessed Mother, for answered prayers. We thank him, her for he, her intercession. And we continue to pray for more blessings. We also pray for our fellow men, fellow Filipinos who are suffering now because of recent typhoon. And Batanes is experiencing the, the wrath of Typhoon Leon. We pray for their safety. We also remember in this Mass all those who are sick those who are undergoing medical procedures, may the healing hand of the Lord be extended upon them. Let us continue asking the guidance and motherly care of Mary. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, Increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from His mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and 
having done everything to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a brass plate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string glar, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away. Leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house 
will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the gifts God gave to man when he created him is freedom. Freedom to choose. Freedom to make decisions. He did not give that to anyone else but to man. Animals do not have freedom. Animals have instinct. They are not covered with free, by freedom. They, are, they act according to their instinct. But that's why freedom, in a way, somehow lessens the power of God. Why? Because man can choose either this way or that way. He can choose evil or good. He can make bad choices or good choices. And that is what happened to Adam and Eve. God gave them everything. He was only asking them for one thing. Do not eat the fruit of the tree. But since our first parents had freedom, they used that freedom. But sadly, irresponsibly. And the second point of freedom, which is a gift of God, is you suffer the consequences of your, of your misuse of freedom. So, hindi ka pipiliin ng, pipilitin ng Diyos na ganito ang gawin mo. Binigyan niya tayo ng kalayaan na gawin ang, ang gusto natin o ang tama. Pero may mga tao na pinipili pa rin gawin yung kanyang gusto. Pero, dapat maging handa ka na harapin ang bunga ng iyong desisyon. Kaya nga nung sumuway si Adan at Eva, ginamit nila ang kanilang kalayaan, pumili sila, mali sila ng pagpili, kaya anong ginawa ng Diyos, pinali sila sa paraiso. When we exercise our freedom, which is God's gift, we have to remember our freedom has consequences or the exercise of our freedom has consequences. Kaya maging maingat tayo sa paggamit ng ating kalayaan. Palagay ko po, yan ang isa sa mga mensahe sa atin ng Ibanghelyo. Ang Panginoon ay may, may kalungkutan na nararamdaman. Sabi niya, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. The mother hen protects her brood by hovering over them with, their, with her wings. But Jerusalem refused the invitation. But Jerusalem was unwilling. And you know what's going to happen? Several years after Jesus ascended into heaven, Jerusalem will be destroyed by the Romans in the year 70. And that's what I am saying. We have the freedom, yes, but we have to use our freedom responsibly because we have to face the consequences of our wrong choice. 
Sana po, wag tayong magkamali ng pagpili. Sana po, isipin nating mabuti bago tayo magpasya. Gamitin natin ang ating kalayaan, hindi para gawin kung ano ang gusto natin, kundi para gawin kung ano ang tama at gusto ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Aware of our mission in the world to be prophets of God's merciful love, let us pray to our Father to make us faithful and courageous in our task. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may be faithful to her prophetic task of pointing out to the peoples of our time the values of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That contradiction and opposition may not discourage or embitter those who work for a better world, but that love may inspire them to move on. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may receive God's word willingly, even if it demands much from us or upsets us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, your Son, Jesus, lived as he spoke. Give us the Holy Spirit to follow him without hesitation on the way to your kingdom, where he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in com company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Carlos, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, as we end our Rosary Month this year, I would like to thank the many churches and uh, private persons that uh, allowed their images to visit the Manila Cathedral during this month of the Rosary October. So the first is the replica of the Lenaval that stayed with us for so many days coming from Santo Domingo Church in Quezon City. The replica of Santo Rosario of uh, the Ugong, privately owned by John Felix Santos, the image of the Santo Rosario of Malipampay in Bulacan, the image of Our Lady of the Barangay, privately owned by Alan Angeles, the image of the replica or the replica of the De Nuestra Señora del Pilar of Santa Cruz Church in Manila, and uh, Our Lady of Fatima the National Shrine image of the, the pilgrim image of Our Lady of Fatima from Valenzuela. And this uh, image of Santo Rosario together with St. Dominic and uh, St. Catherine of Siena privately owned by Romaine. So to all of these people and churches that lent us their images, let us uh, thank them let us give them a warm round of applause. Salamat po. Tomorrow and uh, on the second day of November, our masses will be at 7.30 in the morning and at 12.10 in the afternoon. So even if it is a Saturday on November 2, there will be an additional mass at 12.10. Normally, we don't have 12.10 in the afternoon uh, on Saturdays. And uh, at the uh, side chapel, the Blessed Souls Chapel, you have there the candles. You can buy candles and light them for the, your departed uh, loved ones. And also we have All Souls envelope on which you can write the names of your departed. And uh, we will be offering our masses this month of November. In addition to the normal intentions, we will offer this for our departed loved ones. And on November 2, those who wish no, may go down to the crypt and visit and pray for the four archbishops buried underneath. So, ipagdasal po natin ang ating mga yumaong arsobispo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.